Ashutosh Tripathi and I once again welcome you to my YouTube channel learn.com the poem which I am going to take up today is a very beautiful poem based on human values that is somebody's mother by Mary Top Ryan but somebody's mother by Mary Top Ryan is a beautiful poem depicting the wonderful values of love and care for others in this poem the poetess tells us that we must help the needy. We must have in us the values of life like kindness and love and care for others. Poetess tells us that kindness is a virtue. It multiplies and comes to us in one or the other way. So without wasting much of your time, let's move on to the poem. Here we move to the first slide where I am going to take up the first stanza. Yes. So let's begin with it. The woman was old and ragged and grey and bent with the chill of a winter's day. The streets were white with the recent snow and the women's feet with age were slow. In the opening lines of the poem, we are introduced to an old lady wearing ragged clothes. Ragged means old and torn. It is a winter evening and the climate is cold. The lady, because of the old age, can't stand straight and she stands in bending posture as most of the old people do. You might have noticed in your day-to-day -day life that old people cannot stand straight because of the physical weakness. And recently there has been snowfall and as a result, the streets are covered with thick layer of snow. And that is why the poet says that streets were white. And the lady, because of old age, is walking through the streets slowly. As she is not physically strong, she cannot walk fast. So, as you can see here, streets were white. Now this phrase, streets were white, means the streets were full with the snow because of the recent sna snowfall. At the crowded crossing, she waited long, jostled aside by the careless throng of human beings who passed her by, unheeding the glance of her anxious eye. Now here in this second stanza, the old lady stands at the crowded crossing as she wants to cross the road and go to the other side. She is waiting for the traffic to slow down so that she can safely cross the road. But she is pushed off by the careless crowd that happens to pass by her. She kept waiting but the traffic did not slow down and none of the passerby paid attention to her need and concern. The passerby totally neglected her. Nobody looked at her, nor even glanced at her. Now here we have come across the words like Chaucer means pushed off since it was a crowded place and the lady was standing at one particular place without any movement. So the people who passed by her just pushed her in this or that direction. And throng here means large cloud, crowd because it's a crowded place, it's a marketplace. And unheeding means neglecting. Unheeding means neglecting. Neglecting means that none of the people from the crowd was paying any attention to the need of the lady, that she needed help. So everyone neglected. Down the street with laughter and shout, glad in the freedom of school let out, came happy boys like a flock of sheep, Hailing the snow piled white and deep, past the women so old and grey, hasten the children on their way. Suddenly, or suddenly a group of children come out of the street laughing and shouting with joy as the school is closed for the day. The school let out means the school is over now and the children are rushing out of the school with the uh, sense of freedom and happiness as all the children you must must have noticed even you as soon as the school uh, is over all the children are very happy to go to their home so children are very happy to come out of the school 
The group of boys are compared to a flock of sheep who are happy and noisy. Came happy boys like a flock of sheep. The figure of speech used here, figure of speech used is similar. The group of boys are compared to a flock of sheep. Hailing the snow pile white and deep. Now the boys are welcoming the snow which has fallen on in the streets on the road. The group of boys come out of the street happily playing with the newly fallen snow and all the boys pass by the old lady standing at the crossing without paying any attention to her. All of the boys they pass the women. They also passed beside the women and none of them paid attention to her. Still, no one is paying attention that the lady requires help to cross the road. None offer the helping hand to her, so weak and timid, afraid to stir, lest the carriage wheels or horses' feet should trample her down in the slippery street. None of the boys noticed or offered any help to her so that she can cross the road. Now the lady being weak was afraid to move alone. As the traffic on the road was huge and due to snowfall the road had become slippery. She was afraid that if she tries to cross the road alone uh, then the carriage wheels or the horse's feet may trample her down in the street. That is, she might get into an accident. Because of this fear she was not moving from her place. She was standing at a particular place without any stir, without any movement because of the, uh, the lack of confidence, that she was not having confidence of crossing the road alone. That is why she needed help from someone who could help her cross the road. <coughs> at last came out the merry troop, the gayest boy of all the group. He pushed beside her and whispered low, I'll help you cross if you wish to go. Finally it so happened that one of the boys, very cheerful and lively, noticed this woman waiting to cross the road. Finally, one of the boys from the group, who is described as the gayest boy, the happiest boy of the group, he somehow noticed that this lady requires some help. He noticed the help which she expected. The boy stopped near the lady and asked her in a low voice if she needed any help in crossing the road. So this boy finally helped her to cross the road. Her head, aged hand on his strong young arm she placed and so without hurt or harm he guided the trembling feet along. Proud that his own were young and strong then back again to his friends he went, his young heart happy and well content. Now the old lady put her aged hand on the young boy's strong arm as a support and he guided the trembling feet and supported her by his firm and strong arm. Now here the boy is, because the boy is young, he has energy, the old lady takes the support of his arm holds the boy's arm and the boy starts moving along the lady as a support to her. Now, while doing this act of kindness, the boy felt proud of his strong arms, for he was making use of the strength to help someone. Now the boy is having this feeling that I am very strong and I am making use of my strength to help someone. After making the lady cross the road, the boy went back to his friends with a happy and contented heart. The boy was happy and contented as he had done an act of kindness by helping a needy, by helping a lady who needed help. She is somebody's mother, boys, you know, for all she is aged and poor and slow, and someone sometime may lend a hand to help my mother, do you understand? If ever she is old and poor and grey and her own dear boy so far away. Now, after he returned to his friends, someone from the group asked why he helped the lady. And the boy gave the reply that because she is somebody's mother. And on top of it, 
she is aged, poor and physically weak. So the boys are very curious. So as soon as the this boy, after helping the lady, comes back to the group, so someone from the group might have asked why he did this act, why he helped the lady. So the boy replied that like my mother, she is also someone's mother and she is poor, aged, physically weak and that's the reason why I helped her. Further the boy says that one day his own mother could be in similar situation and that someone else would help her. The boy cannot be always with his mother and in, in his absence, whenever she needs help, someone would definitely help. Now the boy says that when I grow up and it is not possible for me to always be with my mother, so whenever she needs help, someone from the society will definitely come forward and help her. Somebody's mother bowed low her head in her home that night. And the prayer she said was, God be kind to that noble boy who is somebody's son and pride and joy. At home that night, the old lady prayed the boy who had helped her cross the road. She prayed to God to be kind to that boy who is someone's son and pride and joy. So in this way, that lady that particular night prayed to God that, Oh God, please be kind to that boy. Please be noble to that boy who is somebody's son and pride and joy. So in this way we have seen how helping someone who is in need actually gives you a feeling of satisfaction. So such human values everyone must possess. These are... Uh, uh, the required values which one must have in the life. So in this poem we have seen that the importance is being laid on the values of human life which one must have. So I think you must have understood the poem and if you really understood it, liked it, please don't forget to share and subscribe the channel. And with this we come to end of this video hoping to see you very soon with my next video till then take care and goodbye